Hey guys, this beautiful lace pattern is called Purse Stitch, and today I'm going to show you how to knit it. So this lovely lace pattern is stretchy, and it's also reversible, so it's the same on both sides. It also lays really flat, and best of all, it is a one row repeat. That's right, it only requires one row for you to knit up this beautiful pattern, so let's get into it. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. To see the whole series, click on the link in the top right or in the description. I've got more details about this stitch on my website, including tips and tricks, knitting charts, and how to knit the stitch in the round. Link in the description. All right, so I'm using Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK in the color 424 or Mustard Yellow. To knit per stitch, you're gonna cast on an even number of stitches, right? So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, on and on and on, okay? So what we're gonna do is work row one. Now this is a one row repeat, so this is the only row you need to know and remember. Okay, so we're gonna start with a purl one. So we're gonna bring the yarn up front and go from the top to the bottom. All right, little purl stitch refresher here. All right, so now I've done my purl stitch. I'm just gonna bring my yarn to the back to tighten it up a bit. There we go. So I've done my purl one, and now we're gonna do a yarn over and a purl two together. So a yarn over just means I'm gonna bring my yarn to the front of my work. That's it, that's all a yarn over is. And now we're gonna do a purl two together. So purl two together means I need to bring my yarn up to the front. Now, because my yarn is already up for the yarn over, it doesn't mean that we're just gonna go straight into the purl two together. What we're gonna do is bring the yarn up front again, and then we're gonna do our purl two together. So purling two together just means we're going to take our right needle and go into two stitches on our left needle, push our needle through, and then purl those two stitches together as if they were one. All right, so that's a purl two together and a yarn over. So that's a yarn over and a purl two together. All right, so we're gonna repeat the instructions between the asterisks again, and we're gonna repeat that across the whole row. So we're gonna do a yarn over, so we're gonna bring the yarn to the front of our work as if we were gonna purl, and then we're going to do a purl two together. So instead of just purling two together like this, we're gonna bring our yarn to the front again so that means we're gonna bring our yarn to the back and then to the front again so that we have the yarn over here. And now we're in a position to do our purl two together. So I'm gonna purl these two stitches together. I'm gonna to go into them with my needle, just stick the tip in and then purl them together as if they were one stitch. And now I've just decreased those two purl stitches into one purl stitch. All right, and there we go. That is the repeat. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm gonna bring the yarn to the front and then do a purl two together. So I'm gonna bring the yarn to the back again and bring it up to the front. So I've got this loop here, this is my yarn over. And then I'm gonna do a purl two together. So I'm gonna stick my needle into these two stitches, just of the tip in and then purl into those two stitches and bam, bring them off the needle and there we go. That's our repeat. So if we take a look at what we've done so far, you can see that the yarn over is here and it's just created this hole, right? This yarn over, and then this would be the purl two together. And this is the yarn over, purl two together, yarn over, purl two together. All right, so let's continue working that. We're gonna go yarn over and then purl two together. So we bring the yarn to the back and the front again. And then we're going to purl into these two stitches. And did I pick it out? Yeah, there we go. So there's the purl two together. Now our yarn is in the front because we've just done a purl, so I can just keep it there. So that's our yarn over. And then I'm gonna bring the yarn to the back again and then create a purl two together. Now a very common mistake is doing the yarn over and then not looping it back around, but just going straight into the purl two together. And that is incorrect because when we do that, we end up not actually having a yarn over. So if I just did a yarn up front and then did a purl two together, you'll see that I just end up with a purl two together and there is no yarn over behind it. So that's why we need to do that extra loop around. So I'll take those stitches off and show you that we need the yarn over. And then to do the purl two together, we're gonna go back around again like this and then do a purl two together, okay? So we're gonna work this across the whole row. And on my last stitch, I'm going to purl it. 
So now I've just completed row one. I'll turn my needle over and then we'll work row one again. So per stitch is just this one row repeat. We'll work a purl one first, and I'll give a little tug to tighten it up. Now I'll do the yarn over purl two together. So yarn over, then bring the yarn up again, and purl two together. So continue working row one until you get to the last stitch. When you get to the last stitch, just purl into it. And after a few repeats, my knitting looks like this. And that's how you knit per stitch. Thanks for watching. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. Watch the whole series here or click the link in the description. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.